Have you been able to lose weight but find it far more challenging to get it to stay off? Did you think possibly like your programs were the problem and you're disappointed because you've switched approaches quite a few times but the result is the same? Temporary weight loss followed by what's starting to feel like inevitable regaining of that same weight. If you've ever wondered if there's maybe something you're missing when it comes to this whole sustainable weight loss equation that goes far beyond the food approach that you're following or the exercise regimen that you're using, then you're right and you're in luck because that's exactly what we're gonna discuss in today's video. Today we're gonna be talking about one simple mindset switch that I have used in order to stop losing and gaining weight. You don't wanna miss this one. My name is Conceda Thomas and I'm a food and fitness strategist and I help women over 40 lose 30 plus pounds and keep it off without excessive exercise and without diet. I've done it for myself and now I have done it for several other women and inevitably this one mindset switch is a game changer. It was for me and it has been for all of my clients. I'm gonna just cut right to the chase and tell you what that mindset switch is. Are you ready? Brrr, drum roll. It is to value sustainability over speed of results. Oh my goodness. If I, I could, I can't even overstate how important that is. You know, on a weight loss journey, we are on the journey because we want to lose weight and we want those prized results. However, if we elevate the importance of the speed of results over how sustainable the approach is and therefore how sustainable the results will be, then we will find ourselves going from program to program, from diet to diet, and getting the same result. Why? Because we are valuing speed of results over sustainability, and it's ultimately the sustainability that's going to get us consistent, that's going to produce results, and even more importantly, that's going to help the results stay for the long term. And I know what you're thinking. Can see that that is easier said than done, ma'am. You don't know my life. Nothing in the closet fits, or things in the closet, you know, fit, but not the clothes that I want. I do not want to go out and buy another wardrobe. So the speed of results is important, ma'am. What are you talking about? I get it. I've been there too. And I still say that value and sustainability over the speed of results is ultimately going to get you the results you want. And it's going to stop that pesky, annoying, lose, gain, lose, gain cycle that so many of us including myself, have been trapped in before. So I'm gonna give you some practical ways that you can do this because I understand that this is a hard pill to swallow, okay? So I'm gonna give you some practical ways to actually make this happen. The first one, and it's something that my clients notice right away, well, partially because I asked them questions about this, but pay attention to how your approach is making you feel above and beyond the results that it's producing. How does it make you feel? Does the way that you're eating and moving energize you? Do you just feel better? Do you find that you're having more mental clarity? Is your mood better? Are you more relaxed? Are you more flexible about going out to eat with your family? If all of that is happening, then that is a huge, huge, huge sign for you that valuing sustainability over speed of results is not only going to ultimately give you the results that you want, but that it's having a positive impact today, right now, in your everyday life before you even lose that first pound. So many of my clients tell me all of the things that I just mentioned. Oh my goodness, Conceda, I just feel better. Oh my gosh, Conceda, I'm not as bloated. Oh my goodness, I went into the grocery store and like, I did not feel compelled to buy the candy, even though I normally do it. The fact that I knew I could have it just kind of, made the allure of the candy not nearly as strong as it's been. These are real results that I've experienced and real results that my clients tell me they experience within the first one to two weeks of valuing sustainability over speed of results. It will happen for you too, and I'm calling it up so that when it happens, you can notice it too, and you can take that as your quiet nod to keep going that your results are on the way. The second thing that you wanna do 
to help you just root yourself in valuing sustainability over speed of results is you want to extrapolate your results over time to see just how big of a difference what you're doing is making. So I know that when we follow these rapid weight loss approaches, trust me, I've followed my own fair share of them. We are used to seeing biggest loser style drops on the scale. You know, first week, five to seven pounds. You know, second week, maybe four to five pounds. And seeing consistently anywhere between two and five pounds coming off the scale every single week. And so when we value sustainability over speed of results, it can feel like we are trading in results. It could feel like we're accepting like a super slow road. But one of my favorite things to do with my clients, especially if they're getting in that space where they're like, oh, I'm just not making that much progress. Oh, I just thought I would be further along than now, is to sit with them for a moment and extrapolate what feels like small results over time. So let's just say I have a client who maybe has done her first month and although she is feeling better, she's experiencing all these positive results, she's maybe a little bit disappointed because in the first month, she's dropped five pounds and she's like, uh, you know, in the past, I could drop that in a week. I could drop that in the first few weeks of cleaning up, you know, my diet or getting on my program. So then we talk about it. So if you're with me for six months and in the first five months, you dropped five pounds, that assumes that if the rate of change doesn't pick up at all, spoiler alert, it will, because we're rarely doing the full program in the first month. But if the rate of results doesn't pick up at all, you've lost 30 pounds in six months. That means you've lost 60 pounds in a year. And many of my clients, when we extrapolate what feels like small results over a longer period of time, they realize that in six months to a year, if they kept losing at that rate, that's very doable, the approach is very sustainable, that they would have lost more than their entire goal is in that time. So extrapolating what seems like small results over the longer period of time can help you settle in a little bit and value sustainability over speed of results. I've got more where that came from, but I'm curious, what tricks or tips or hacks have you used in order to help yourself stay the course on a more sustainable path to weight loss, let me know, drop them in the comments. Okay, so the third way that you can settle into embracing sustainability over speed of results has nothing to do with food or fitness. You ready? Adopt a beauty regimen that is not weight dependent. This one was huge for me on my journey. What I mean by that is, Many times, part of the reason why we want to lose weight in the first place is because we want to feel better in our skin. We want to feel more put together. We want to feel more confident about our appearance. We want to feel, you know, sexier and just, you know, more attractive when we step outside of our homes. And the thing about that is, is losing weight is not the only way to feel and beat all of those things. So fun fact. When, before I started gaining weight, I did not put a lot of um, effort into my appearance. So I would literally, you know, have a wet ponytail, you know, slid back and things of that nature. And then as I started to gain weight, I, I mistakenly believed that it was going to be losing the weight that was going to make me feel, you know, more confident about my looks and, you know, attractive and well put together when I put when I stepped outside of the house. But one of the things that I realized and that I leveraged to my advantage was that actually taking more care to keep my hair, to <laughs> keep my hair well groomed, to keep my nails put together, to make sure that you know that I bought cute outfits even if they were not yet in the size that I wanted them to be helps me feel very well put together and confident in my looks even before I lost a single pound. So that is the third way that you can sell into um, embracing sustainability over speed of results to just reduce some of that frantic energy where you feel like you'll just do anything to get the weight to come off. All right, number four, and I alluded to this a little bit in number one, is notice process related victories. Notice when it's easier for you to get your steps in each day. Notice when you start to crave getting your resistance training workout done because it's become a habit. Notice when you more easily order 
not only the meal that tastes good, but the meal that tastes good and supports your goal at the restaurant without feeling that little, you know, that little feeling like somehow you're missing out. Notice those are all part of the process and those are results that will appear along the journey as you lose weight and some of them even before you lose weight. So begin to notice those results and get excited about those as well because they will oftentimes come more quickly than the weight loss results. They will come um, very frequently and if you start to notice those and really embrace how, how important those are along the way and what they mean for the sustainability of your results, it will get easier and easier to embrace the sustainable approach and to avoid the allure of the quick fix. And finally, the fifth tip, and I feel like I alluded to this one a little bit already, but it's so important. Learn how to dress your body well. Learn how to dress the shape that you have. So many of us feel like, you know, and I did as well, that like, okay, when I'm this size, and I can wear all the cute clothes, you know, when I'm this size, I'll be able to shop at these stores. And the fact of the matter is, is that depending upon how much weight you have to lose, there may be stores that will become available to you then that are not available to you now. But more than likely, the shape of your body, you know, the length of your torso, the length of your legs, that is something that is not going to change with your weight. So just like now, you'll need to eventually learn to dress the shape you have, the body you have with the length of your limbs and your proportions. At some point, even when you lose weight, if you don't learn this, you won't feel as put together and just as polished as maybe you're hoping the weight loss will help you feel. So I am telling you the truth, baby, the minute I learned, <laughs> the minute that I learned which cuts and which colors flattered me, the truth of the matter was they made me look put together and you know, it fit whether I had 20 or 30 or 40 pounds to lose or whether I had zero pounds to lose at all. And so that is something that you can do now to begin to feel what you want to feel later when the weight is lost. And doing all five of these things are ways that can help you just really embrace sustainability over speed of results. It will reduce that frantic energy. It will help you stay the course and Honestly, it will help you get off of this roller coaster of losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, and gaining weight. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you have found this helpful. And if you are looking for guidance and support as you embrace sustainability over speed of results, then I highly encourage you to take a look at my signature program, Get It Off, Keep It Off, one-on-one -on -one coaching. It is all about habit building, sustainability, curating a lifestyle that makes the results inevitable and sustainable. And I'll leave the link to the application and to where you can get more details on that program right below this video. Until next time, friends, stay fierce.